accepted day, the E-Pace arrives looking every bit as fresh as the rest of the Jaguar range and sits squarely in an ever-growing market. This whole SUV thing doesn't look like ending, either. Around half a decade ago, Jaguar was selling 60,000 cars a year. Now it reaches that figure with the F-Pace alone. Welcoming the E-Pace to the SUV party. The E-Pace sits below the F-Pace, then, as the sits below the XF, so although E implies electric in most other people's ranges, it ain't here. So, here we are. A compact SUV is a departure for Jaguar, but man cannot live on elegant saloons and sports cars alone. And so we get a natural, Callum light design touch applied to a 4.4 meters long SUV. Which looks? Well, you decide. I think if you grabbed each wheel and pulled it outwards a bit, you would have a rather elegant car. Place a hand over the lower half of it and pictures and the roofline is as graceful and flowing as you'd hope. But, down to its compact length and 1.65 meters height, it looks like a stress ball version of an F-Pace. F-Pace in Caracat, your, 